the reason why you don't have an opinion on this Palestinian thing, you want to use these jokes as a shield. But the truth is, you're just a f***ing coward. And I want to let you know something. You know what? Silence is violence. This? Yeah! This, this, Silence is violence! This is Go ahead and keep quiet and watch how I bleed. With everything happening in Palestine and Israel, right, there's been a lot of different takes, right? Some people are being pro-Hamas. Some people are being pro-Israel. Some people are being pro-Palestine. They don't want innocent people. A lot of people just don't want innocent people to suffer, okay? And there's a lot to talk about. All right. Geopolitically, it's a very complex issue. Well, here in Montreal, all right, our city, uh, there was an incident involving a, a woman. Uh, she had a Palestinian flag on her car. And as she came out to her vehicle, somebody was double parked right beside her. Okay. Now, the lady who's getting into her car, the one with the Palestinian flag, looks at the other. He's like, oh, do you want my parking spot? She's like, no, I'd like to talk. And this video ensued. Post it. Author Lauren Wise. That's my Instagram. Author Lauren Wise, you should be written and dragged through the streets in front of your kids. She said you should be graped in front of your kids. No. That is wild. That, yo, for okay. flying a flag. Mind you, there's no words before this that were really shared. Okay? Thank you. Thank you for your name. No. Thank you. Have no a good nice day. I think you should fucking, all of you idiots who think that it's Palestine. So she just said, this crazy lady, she just comes out of nowhere, she starts attacking me. That's what the lady said in French. I'm not attacking you. Okay, you're attacking Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank do you have any did she posts on Instagram? Well, her uh, Instagram is locked. What about her Twitter? Oh, yeah, that's locked too. Okay, so she yeah. deactivated her yeah, social. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she put her name in the video. Yeah. Post it. Author Lauren Wise. That's my Instagram. And then Which, when the backlash came, she's like, oh, wait. Maybe I shouldn't maybe, have that. Maybe that's not a good idea. I said it with my chest then. Author Lauren Wise. I'm not so proud now. So supposedly this lady afterwards... The, the one in the car with the, the Palestinian flag, she got out. She's like, if you want to talk, why don't we just talk? Get out of the car. We can have a conversation. And the lady freaked out. And apparently, she went in reverse and then slammed on the gas pedal, removing her car door, and drove her? off. Her? Yeah. Lauren Wise. Yeah. Yup. She's crazy, right? That's crazy. Um, why, why are we bringing this up? Because the response to this conflict, you know, which is incredibly polarizing... Has yeah. people drawn in such extreme camps mm -hmm. that if you don't talk, you're condoning violence. Yep. If you speak for the wrong side, you're condoning violence. It doesn't matter what you say. A large contingent of people are going to call you a piece of shit and one of the worst human beings alive for essentially liking the death of, of babies or whatever. You know what I mean? Like this issue, even more so than Ukraine, Russia, anything I've ever seen before, is the issue that polarizes people the most. Yeah. And it's been going on. Yeah. Remember during the pandemic, yeah. we had that. Where oh, there were some flare-ups and people were like, yeah. why you guys haven't spoken about it? Why you just like, bro, I'm not, I'm not that educated on it. Like, you know, one of the things that is most fascinating to me about this is people who have zero geopolitical knowledge. Uh -huh. They don't even understand the history. Nope. They don't even understand when nope. Israel was founded. They don't understand how the Palestinians ended up where they were. They don't understand none of the... <clears throat> they can't even point it to you on the map. No. But they're so certain about which side is right and which side is wrong and how black and white it is. Mm -hmm. And they'll shout you down from the high heavens mm -hmm. to be like, you're garbage. That's the part that fascinates me the most. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I've seen some people be like, oh, Hamas is based or whatever. I was like, what? I've seen there was some sort of rave or desert party where they were having a great time until the resistance came in electrified hang gliders and took at least several dozen hipsters. <laughs> But I'm sure they're doing very fine, despite what the New York Post says. But nobody had seen this coming. They said, we control every inch of Palestine. No, they don't. They said, we have walls. They were so arrogant. But just less than 24 hours ago on the land, from the sea, and from the air, the people of the Gaza Strip. What is based about grabbing civilians and then murdering, graping, all this other stuff? And then other people like Israel has the right to do whatever it wants. Like what, what's great about bombing places indiscriminately and then also having, taking away settlements and then, you know, like having the way they've been encroaching on Palestinian land and just stealing places. Like nobody can say to me that Israel has been wanting peace for all this time. Like I think this is what I'll say about the conflict. This is my, my two cents. 
I think there's a giant difference between the governments, the governing bodies, and the people itself. I think almost most of the majority of people in Israel, the citizens, and most of the people in Palestine support a two-state solution. Uh, the government seemed to have a different idea in mind, and that seems to be pretty consistent. I think at every turn, uh, the Israeli government has made efforts to encroach on Palestinian land and steal more settlements, which a lot of the people in Israel have been protesting against. And for the Palestinians, like they would support being able to live alongside, for many of them, some that won't, uh, if it meant that they could be free. So, you know, unfortunately, you're just... <laughs> A man named Bibi kind of holds the reins to this whole thing is deciding how this thing's going to go forward. And at the end of the day, it's mostly going to be innocent people who have nothing to do with this conflict Absolutely. or not involved who are going to suffer. So I think you could do two multiple things. I think you condemn what Hamas did in terms of the attack and also understand the frustrations of Palestinian people being in what is an open air prison for the last 60, 70 years. Um, our Discord is up. A lot of political discussions going on all about all kinds of stuff. Also, people gaming, ch chatting about different Abba and Preach topics as well as anything under the sun. So check the link in the description below for that. I just think it's kind of cringe when people are just like, Merc these people. And I'll also say, as a Canadian, it was really f cringe watching Parliament fly the Israeli flags. <laughs> That was really, that that was gross, <laughs> okay? Right after the... <laughs> yeah, every time something happened in Palestine, I see none of these motherfuckers fly no flags for no, the no, Palestinian no, no. people. Uh, something in Israel, all of a sudden, they want to, you know, throw up all these... I'm like, that's, that's cringe what, to that's, me. That's what politics is, basically, but whatever. Yeah. I digress. Why don't you speak out on this topic? Because, one, I'm not well-educated on it. Two, I think both sides are wrong. Why would I? I'm going to talk about some shit I don't know. Let me talk about some shit I know. Let me, let, you know what I, you know what I know? I know how to make people laugh. I know how to. How to you never made me laugh a single time. I mean, Can you really call yourself a comedian? Yeah, because I'm not talking to you. Okay, then go, clown. Let's go, make this laugh. Anyway. Yeah, that's what I thought. The reason why you don't have an opinion on this Palestinian thing, you want to use these jokes as a shield, but the truth is, you're just a fucking coward. And I want to let you know something. You know what? Silence is violence. This? Yeah! This, Silence this, is violence! This is Go ahead and keep quiet and watch how I bleed. This is every day. Yeah, that's why you know yeah, every yeah. day, every day on social media. That's you. Shh. That's you guys. Go ahead, push. Oh, you're not going to put that dirty ass finger in my face. Shh. I'll put it in front of mine and I'll blow. <laughs> Don't touch me like that, man. Stand your ground. I'm about to... <laughs> You're like a go little... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Like keep, a little keep quiet. brother. Okay, are, you, are, are you done? Are this. you done? I'm not done. Are you done? I'm not done. I think it's time for you to stop. No, I'm not. Why you, you should stop talking? Why? So you can let more Palestinian babies die. <sighs> yeah! That's you guys. That's you guys every day. No, I ain't, I ain't saying stuff because, yeah, it's not my place to say stuff. I not every... I, 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 I don't... All you the people, out of all the coward. people, all the people that can say stuff and that are actually, that have the Silence knowledge to say stuff, violence. go watch them. Go watch them. Their inaction is complicit in the murder. You know what I mean? People. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I got to say about I'm that. I'm the ghost of the bitter activist. <laughs> the ghost of the bitter activist. That's now good. you know that you are complicit in the death of all these babies. Sure. Little Osama is watching i understand i understand the frustrations of a lot of people who are pro-palestine and feel like it's when shit happens in palestine there doesn't seem to be as much of a and support they're, they're you right know, when they're when they're being evacuated from their homes or homes are being burned down they're they're right. being murdered, and then they're having israeli center like i that, that frustration is real the fact that it feels like on the international stage it feels like a lot of governing yeah. bodies will turn a blind eye to a lot of the stuff israel does and then i also understand the israeli settlements where they're just like you know they're living out there in Tel Aviv and they're getting rockets sent to them or, you know, bombings and all that stuff. Like, it, it's understandable. I just, I, I can't for the life of me look at a lot of people who want to look at this issue and be like, whoa, I'm 100% right. The other side's got to disappear. It's like, that's crazy to me. And for everybody who's asking me about the editor's contest, it's still going on. You can make unlimited amount of entries up until the end of October. After that point, we're going to be selecting the people who are going to be moving on to phase two. The goal with this, so I make it clear for everyone, is to find an editor who can be autonomous, who can work remotely and manage the things. Find the right kind of clips. So the things that we're looking for in an editor are one, creativity when it comes to the editing process. Two, good clip selection. And what constitute good clip selection? Sometimes it's a matter of like making sure you get enough of us and not just the content we're reacting to, but also finding clips that people want to watch. We want to be sure that you understand the platforms that you're editing and posting on and that you 
can see a clip, see that it's going to be good content and then upload it to the right spot so that people do want to click on those. And so, you know, be smart about your clip selection. Be good about your editing. Uh, you know, if you want to add in pizzazz to make the clip more interesting, do definitely do that. And like I said, we're not limiting the amount of entries you can make from a single uh, channel that you create for this contest. So do this much. Use the hashtag abba and preach video contest someone said this too but they're like yeah they're doing this for their own safety you know they can't allow us like you have to imagine most of the people who are in palestine right now are like under are, are kids yeah 50 okay? percent of, of them are kids 90 percent of them were not even around when the first initial war happened with israel mm -hmm. and they're still living in this prison yeah so you have to think about how crazy that is that generation to generation all of you are living in perpetual prison-like state okay you're born, you've done nothing, you're imprisoned in this area yeah. because of something your great-grandfather or whatever. It's like, as weird as the fucked up it is to say, it's almost like paying reparations for something your great-grandparents did. And like a lot of people in America would never be okay with that. Would well, they expect a lot of the Palestinian people to have to accept that kind of situation based on A lot of born. people in America are not a, uh, for that. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm they saying. Don't wanna, they, they I, would never want to pay reparations. Would, they don't want to pay reparations. I have nothing to you. Yeah, so. I don't know. It, it's just... And I understand. Yeah. People don't have an opinion. Uh, I don't think you should feel bad. I don't think it's your job to be educated on this. If you don't want to, if you don't feel some type of way, if you're someone, like, listen, let's be honest. I think a lot of you are watching this right now. You're like, oh, I'm exhausted of the depressing feeling I get when I see international news. Mm. I'm exhausted of the depressing feeling I get when I look at this issue that seems like it's never going to be resolved because they've never made real, they haven't made progress over the last 20 years and they've only deterred. I, I don't want to think about that because it's a lot of suffering and it fucks my mental. I, I, I can understand a lot of people's sentiment like that. And for other people, they're like, I have to care because if I don't, who's going to help these people? And I think all those opinions are valid. But I just I don't understand people who want to impose their view on everyone else, demanding that they care about this issue. To me, that just seems counterproductive. Yeah, that's that's you. You should care. Silence the balance.